Okay, got the halyards here. So, firstly, I'll run the jib halyard. So you undo that. Now, big trick is when I de-rig these, I do it in a way that there's no tangles, and that'll make rigging a lot quicker. So I go through there, run down the halyard, and then I actually take it round. I go over Miranda's head, and that halyard goes in the jib roller here. And I just tie a simple reef knot there. That's reasonably tight. Next I run the Jenica halyard. So I've seen people do this different ways. Um, and I do it different ways sometimes. So another technique is you just walk out if you've got the space. And you've got the ends together. And then I actually just toss this down the front of the boat. So I don't need to walk around. That saves another 30 seconds or so. It's pretty key when you're trying to set rigging records. All right, lastly, the halyard. Now, feeding this, you want to get it right. You only make this mistake once, is you feed it from the track side through to the front. So if you go the other way, you'll find when you go to hoist your main, you'll have a few issues. And that's because the halyard lock will come up, go through the block and lock there. If you go through the other side, you'll find uh, it won't work. So for the main halyard, I just do a similar thing with the Jenica. Run down. So I've managed to get a little knot here myself. Not so smooth. All right, got that little knot undone. So, we come here. Now, I like to put the Jenica halyard on the mast and do the, the main uh, lastly. And the reason is the main runs over everything, so it's good to keep that separate. So, I tie the Jenica halyard through the cleat, same deal, just a reef knot. I'll leave a tail through there, it's quicker to undo later. Um, and now I've put the main halyard on. So it's good to rotate the mast over and check that you have it running s smoothly through the block up there. And I just loop that over there and tie it off couple of half hitches. Alright, so next we need the four stay because we're going to put the mast up. So I will drag this up inside the side stays. Now you'll see here I've uh, laid out the side stays beforehand and the reason for that is by draping them over the front of the beams it stops them from catching around the back because often you might find that you catch on the rudder gudgeon here um, so this just holds them forward so we attach the side stays first and what we want to do is make sure that the the jib and jenica are in front of the side stays and the main just the the part that pulls the sail up is behind the side stays so this one goes here grab the other one Roll the mast over, same deal, make sure jib and jenica halyards are in front and side so stay goes there. Again you'll see that I just flick that over the back corner of the boat, that is a common problem, I see people catching it on. And then the four stay goes in, you can either put the jenica one side or the other, I'm going to put it on that side today. And before I walk to put the mast up, you want to make sure that all these T balls are in correctly so they should be tight down like that and uh, I usually just make sure that they're nice and straight the stays there so there's no risk of them falling loose and coming out so that's all set to go I'm happy with that time to put her up so
So first thing I do is I get the force stay and I'll hold that with one hand on the base of the mast and I use the other hand to lift it. So if you struggle putting out the mast, what you do is you actually come further up and it requires less strength. So I'm gonna do it that way. And then we just place her up. You can rest it on the ground. Then we shift it towards here. Now, something else, I'm actually rigging into the wind, it's pretty light, the wind's coming this way. Um, if it's really windy, I actually would rig with the wind coming from this direction because it actually helps push the mast forward. All right, next step. So get a nice wide grip on the mast and you can put it up onto the trailer support there firstly. Readjust your grip and, uh, and then we put in the mast step. Now it's really key to keep the mast vertical. As soon as you get it on a bit of an angle, that's when it begets, uh, begins to be heavy to lift. So we lift it up and you'll find that the stay is tension. So we just watch the base here and put it into the step. So it takes a bit of practice, but it shouldn't require a huge amount of strength with the right technique. While I'm supporting my right hand, I just use the force stay, uh, grab the force stay with the other hand, and now we're ready to lash it up. So I've seen all sorts of knots here, but I use a few half hitches after going through here a few times. And another trick is to tension it up as you go. I've seen people lash it all up with no tension, then they crank down and it just binds the, the line in there, making it really difficult to tension. So I've gone through twice there and then I'm just going to put a bit of tension on. Now it's always easier to put tension on pushing down as opposed to pulling up. So you see there if I try and pull tension on all it wants to do is lift the boat up. So I'll go through there a couple of times. So I'm pretty happy with that rig tension and then I just do a few half hitches here. And just use up some of that tail there. This is a bit long. Next time.